The vagus nerve is all the rage right now. So much so that any Google search will generate millions of hits with biohacks and life hacks galore. So how can this affect your kiddo? Turns out with all this research, biohacking, and natural science that's been reported lately, it can actually have a massive impact on our nervous systems, affecting your sleep, your emotional health, and your digestion to name a few. One thing that we see again and again today when taking a deep dive into the full health picture of our grade school and teenage patients, but also some moms and dads who are struggling with anxiety and ADHD on the outside, is that they are also struggling with some of the basic building blocks of health on the inside. And the vast majority of these cases struggle with things like sleep, constipation, digestion, emotional regulation, immune health. And so if these basic building blocks of health aren't doing so well, then there's absolutely no way that we can expect their brain-based health, like focus and anxiety, to be in a good place. You see, the brain and the body are directly connected. And so mental health and physical health need to be seen as one thing, not necessarily two. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video, all about the vagus nerve. And while the vagus nerve can be very complex, it can also be simplified too, into a nerve that controls the parasympathetic side of the nervous system, or the resting, the digesting, more so the brake pedal side. Meaning then that when this nerve is turned up, or firing on all cylinders, or working at full capacity, it helps to control sleep, and emotional regulation, and digestion, and absorption, and motility of our food. However, the opposite is true if the vagus nerve is turned down, and instead of rest and digest, the nervous system engages in more of a protective response. And this isn't always a bad thing. If you're taking a test or playing a sport or facing some adverse event like running from a bear, but as parents, I know this, I can guarantee that you don't want your kids running from a bear at bedtime. So then how does our vagus nerve get turned down? Well, truthfully, it's stress. And it's stress at all different levels of development. This can include fear and anxiety during pregnancy. That can certainly be passed on from mom to baby. It can be intervention during uh, delivery or labor, uh, vacuum or forceps, some sort of trauma like that. It can include childhood falls or bumps and bruises. We know as a dad, there's enough of those. Okay? It can be inflammatory foods or chemicals, what they're eating or what we put on their skin. It can be high levels of family stress, social stress, anxiousness. Right? All of these different types of stress can bog down the nervous system and turn down that vagus nerve. So if you're curious where your kiddo's vagus nerve levels are, the good news is we can measure them because we've got insight scans. And specifically within the insight scan, our HRV, the heart rate variability, measures gas pedal versus brake pedal, right? Where your kiddo lies or where you lie along that path. In fact, that's the first step getting a scan done so that we can find a starting point to build a care plan to turn up that parasympathetic vagus nerve activation and start to help with a multitude of challenges. So what do you need to do? First, ask any questions, comments, put them below, or send us a direct message if you want. Number two, share this information. Right? Other parents or family members or Facebook groups who need to hear this, let them know it. And then three, read the article, it's, it's attached. Okay, and number four, if this is describing your kiddos or it's describing you, give us a call. Get on the schedule. Get scheduled for a scan. See how we can help.